it's a very hands-on thing. When you cook, you're stirring with a spoon or a fork or something like that. But when you're baking, you get immediate satisfaction. I love baking, and that's why I really started baking professionally, because I've baked all my life, and I've baked bread. So I was thinking, how could we help um, the, particularly the, the emergency workers? And we get requests for donations all the time. It's very expensive for us to make, because we really make very good products. And I thought, I'd like to donate more, but I can't. I just can't afford it. So that idea came to me and I did a practice session. I just invited people to see what it was like. And then my husband and I ate up the, uh, the products, which were Florentine lace cookies, which were really good. And uh, then I thought, well, maybe I could do this for more people and get some donations. And then that if that would cover our costs, we could then bake stuff and bring it to the people who are really protecting us. When you're baking, you get immediate satisfaction. You have the physical pleasure of doing it. And it really reminds you of all the time. With baking um, and following a recipe can give a sense of order in a time when people may feel not a lot of order and sense is happening. So um, making bread, you know, or another dish can can help, you know, keep keep people uh, calm and, and focus. Um, and, there, and there's also enjoyment of like, I finished this product, like here's this pie, this cake, this little bread that I can eat or I can share with my neighbor or I can leave it at the doorstep of a family member to enjoy, you know, socially distancing, of course. Baking, Mise en Place is really like just putting the pieces of the puzzle together so everything is there. When we're mindless cooking is when we're running around the kitchen like, where's my baking soda? I, I thought I had baking soda, but I only have baking powder or vice versa. So again, we didn't plan ahead. So Mise en Place is, is um, what chefs call a way of life. It's not just a technique, but it's a way of life. And so we can use Mise en Place um, in our everyday life beyond cooking and baking. So doing a to-do list, kind of thinking about our week and what we have to do for that week or that day ahead of time, kind of mentally preparing ourselves for each step of the process. That can help us through a work project or taking care of kids or managing a household or whatever we're doing. Even though we're socially distancing and, and maybe apart from loved ones, I think there's still ways that we can honor each other, you know, so maybe we can't bake, you know, our sibling or our parents that birthday cake. Well, maybe we can bake it at home and eat it in their honor, you know, and then maybe we can have them send them a, a cake. You know, there's lots of great bakeries now. So there's, there's ways that we can still celebrate birthdays and other special occasions. But I, I think to me, uh, culinary therapy, you know, is not about um, making any fancy dishes. It can be a peanut butter jelly sandwich or even baking wise, just getting a box of Jif muffins, you know, and, and making those. So it's not about fancy. It's just about what helps us escape to the kitchen and be creative.